Hey y'all, hey. welcome to this week's Table Talk with your host Diamond and Silk. Yes. OMG Silk. <laughs> a lot of things in the news, huh? Girl, a lot of things, a in, lot the news of things that in the news that have been keeping our attention. Yes, and keeping Diamond and Silk. Y'all been keeping us busy. Very busy. Very, very busy. busy. Very yes, busy. In the news. Baby. Honey, they start talking stuff. Yes. And then we have to respond to what they're talking about. That's right. We have to respond to what they're talking about. But let's get down to business. Let's first get down thing first. To it. Let's talk about the uh the the uh, the election is coming up. Uh-huh. We want everyone to get out and we want you to to get out and we want you to vote yes it is imperative that you get out and you vote yes listen we have something going on in our country we already know we have a movement yes we already We've been know that messages that people are have ditched and switched their party yes. to republicans so that they can vote for donald trump in these primaries that's right now you have to get out and you're gonna have to vote they been telling us they ditching and switching from Democrats and Independent to Trump. To Trump, that's they right. They switching to Trump. Uh -huh. <laughs> so now you have to get out and you have to vote for Trump. That's right. Now, in Ohio, we heard that on their ballot, there's two spots with Donald Trump name. That's right. Filling both spots. Filling both spots. Circle in both. Anywhere you see Donald Trump. Well, make sure you read it first. Yeah, you got to read it. in his name, okay? Yeah. I don't know why it's such trickery in Ohio. I don't know why they did their ballots like that. Well, it's part of the scheming and beaming. Part of the scheming and beaming. That's right. Okay. It's okay. part of the scheming and beaming. That's what they want to do because the, the the theme for that side now is to stop Trump. Okay, okay. So what I want you all to do is to make sure when you see that ballot, yes. you want to mark his name on both sides. That's Wherever right. his name is at, yes. read it, mark his name. Two columns. The first column and the second, and the second column. column. Yes. Right, 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 right. Yes. Also, make sure that whenever it goes through the computer, yes, it's read. That's right. So that, because you want to make sure that your vote counts. Count. It is imperative that your vote counts. Yes, okay. That's right. Now, we are voting for Donald Trump. That's right. It ain't no need to be talking about no Ted Cruz. No. I want to run down what Ted Cruz did. Run down. Now, Ted Cruz, you all listen. He voted for that TPA bill that outsourced thousands of jobs. That's what he did. He voted against our veterans. Mm. Our veterans, there was a bill that could have helped our veterans. He voted against he voted that. Against now, he's an immigrant that calls for Canada to come over here to be American and turn on our American vets. That's what he did. No, we can't vote for him. We can't and then that. what really took take the cake with me uh -huh. is when old Ted Cruz sided with them protesters in mm. Chicago to make them think that they were okay for being disruptive and trying to be disruptive at Donald Trump rally, and they had to cancel it. Uh -huh. That's because he's part of the problem. He's part of the he's problem. Part of the problem. That's right. So he's asked, we ain't voting We're for him. We're not voting for Ted. Oh, no. little Marco Rubio. Little Marco. We ain't vote for little Marco. Y'all know no. his history. Yes. Okay, let's run it down. Let's run it let's down. Let's run it down. Run it down. Run it down. Run Marco. Mm -hmm. Okay, first of all, he already done had a, a job in the Senate, yeah. Senate making yeah. over $100,000 yeah. and wouldn't even take his behind the work to do it. Hmm. You know the taxpayer need to rise up. Rise up. Yes. We want our money back. Yeah, that money back. We paid your behind. Yes. How many years? Yes. And you didn't even go do your job. That's right. We want our money Give back. Give us our money mm -hmm. back. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Another thing, he voted on that H-1B visa to mm -hmm. bring them people in, take them down there to Disney. Americans trained those foreigners, and then those foreigners took those American people jobs, oh, and they was out of job. Yes. That's another reason why, don't vote for Marco. Don't Marco. Don't vote. And Marco. I know Marco. And then you all, he can't handle his finances. Y'all remember when I told y'all about that $10,000 right. that he allegedly stole? And I say stole mm -hmm. because you can't take right now yeah. and put $10,000 on your company card. Because right. they're going to be looking at you like you crazy. Exactly. That's like embezzlement. Yeah. That's like stealing. Uh -huh. That boy's a thief. He knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. Yes, okay, right. okay. He knew it. And then, oh, Marco, you all, the last thing is the fact that he took and he sided with the protesters. Uh -huh. He thought all of this was Donald Trump's fault. The mere fact, see, this is why I said in that last video. Yeah. Uh, 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 what did I say? Hell, the, the, the conservatives. Yes. Parts of people in the GOP. That's right. The left, the liberal, yes. the media. Yes. They all did this here. They all did. Because you had those three conservatives. Yes. Ted Cruz, Ted, Marco Rubio, Marco. and Kasich yes. blaming Donald Trump. Hmm. They were part of the problem. Well, I wonder who is Marco blaming for the little incident that happened at his little... Oh, the media ain't talking about that. Well, it's too small. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and John Kasich. John. Now, you know Kasich, you all... I done found out some stuff on him. Oh, First of all, yes. in Ohio, 
He is the one that signed NAFTA. You are all screwed to me. He voted for NAFTA. He voted for That it. had thousands upon thousands of jobs outsourced right there in Ohio. That's what okay? he did. That's now. what he did. Yes. Now all of a sudden, he done had this brand new sense of awareness. Uh -huh. And now he's okay with the legal immigrants coming in uh -huh. and going on ahead and making them legally. So what about the immigrants that's already in this what country? About what about the immigrants that's already in this country? Yeah. Stand in line, yes. wait at their tongue, yes. pay their fees. Yes. What does it say? It's a slap in their face. Well, he's just trying to get a vote. He's just trying to get a vote. Is he going and then down? another thing. Uh -huh. Did you know that the same people that fund those people out there that was protesting is also paying money into John Case the campaign? What? We'll say allegedly, but I found out some stuff. Oh. Yes, paying money into his campaign. That's why he was so comfortable on national TV throwing Donald Trump under the bus, yeah. trying to accuse Donald Trump of doing all of so this. So Casey, Casey, Casey is part of the problem. He is part of the problem. Mm -hmm. And this is why we cannot vote for any of these people. No, we can't. Kasich, Rubio, or Cruz, we're going to lose. No. Ask them out. We are voting for Donald J. Trump. Yes. If you all are tired of seeing what's going on in the streets, the, uh, vote for Donald Trump. That's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to vote for that's Donald exactly Trump. What you're going to have to vote for Donald Trump. Yeah. Now. We done already made our case. Yes. So we want you to get out. We want to make sure that you get out and you vote yes, and vote right. in droves. Right. Vote for Donald J. Trump. Mm -hmm. Y'all ready to make America great again? Yes. Y'all ready to stop seeing all this craziness? Right. Y'all ready to bring some respect back to what yes. we used to have? That's right. Vote for Donald J. Trump, That's baby. Right. <laughs> yeah. Vote for him. Do it. Okay. All right. Now, the next thing, you all. Now, let's go back and let's talk about what happened when he came to Fayetteville. Okay. Let's to the Fayetteville rally. Fayetteville, yes. Okay. So, he came to the Fayetteville rally, you uh -huh. all. Everything was going good. Yes. And you had pockets of protesters. Yes. So, you may have had two here, two here, two there. Even where we were sitting, there was a protester right, right in, front in front of, of us. us. Okay? Yes. All right. But at this particular rally, this guy, an older guy, I think he was 79 years, years old. Uh -huh. We're going to call him Cowboy. Cowboy. We're going to name him Cowboy. Okay, Cowboy. Uh -huh. Cowboy, too. And he sucker punched somebody. Yes, he okay? did. Mm -hmm, and he the next did. day, they did arrest. They, uh, they arrested they Cowboy. Cowboy. They arrested yeah, Cowboy. Yeah. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. So you got to be cautious when you're doing all that foolishness around them old people. Then you got to be and cautious. And I just took it. Okay, maybe he tripped like that. Like, maybe he hit him. Because he had a flashback that maybe he was back in the Civil War. <laughs> or that guy could have been going up the stairs, throwing up them signs, uh -huh. and Cowboy may have peed in his opinion yeah. and like that. Well, and you know what? I don't get I'm you. I don't out. get you because now I got to lead the rally uh -huh. to change my diaper. So he had a senior mother. He had a senior mother. Uh -huh. And you, these young people got to be cautious. You got to you be acting cautious. a fool in front of these you older got people. To be so these uh -huh. older people will snap on yes, you. Girl. They will snap on yes. you. And how do we know that Cowboy ain't dealing with little dementia. How, we know, How do we know he we ain't dealing with law all the time? How that. do we know that? Yeah. To make him go ahead on and, and just suck that. a punch. He's it just well, sucked upon the side. I think he been lifting weights. I think Cowboy been lifting some weight because he gave him a one-two. He did a bam. Yeah. I'm like, who is that? Now, listen, we not condoning violence. No, we ain't condoning violence. We don't condone violence. violence. They arrested Cowboy. He going to have to figure all that out. But Cowboy knocked him the hell out. Cowboy knocked him the hell out. See, a lot of times back in those days, you mm. used to have to go pick your own switch. That's right. Maybe get, get a whooping with yeah. a stitching cord yeah. or a belt or what have yeah. you. And so Cowboy, you know, he's from the back from the old school. And he's like, you know what? Look at this child being disrespectful. Mm -hmm. You know, you're supposed to respect your elders. Mm -hmm. No, and you walking up and you throwing up your size and yeah. all that, being disrespectful. <laughs> Listen, you young people got to understand. Y'all yes. can't do all that craziness yes. in front of old folks That's or right. old folks will snap. That's and right. I just thought, he thought he was back in a civil war yeah. and he went to war. He went to war. <laughs> <laughs> he went to war. <laughs> but, you know, maybe he thought he was in an old fight, an old war war. Yeah. Bob Rawl or yeah. something like that. Uh -huh, with you the know, name not, but we're not condoning violence. Condoning you know, violence. I think everybody should have been arrested. And I, yes. I'm the one that incited the violence. Yes. When you're in there and you're acting ignorant, you're yes. inciting violence. Yes. You should be arrested. You know what, Donna? Let's talk about that right quick about mm -hmm. inciting violence. Mm -hmm. You know, it has to start from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay? You know, if we're sitting here right now in our mm -hmm. area right now, and somebody come into our studio area, what have you, mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. and start being disrupted, guess what? I'm going to tell them, I'm going to tell them, get the hell out of here. What the, the hell are you doing here? You're in here you, and and like, I'm stupid. Well, that's what I don't understand about the media. Yeah. You wouldn't let nobody come in on your show that's and that right. crazy. That's right. You wouldn't let nobody you come in your nobody. house and do that. You wouldn't let nobody huh? do that. And how is it that they feel like they can censor somebody else's speech? That's right. right. And listen, you all, I'm sorry. 
Bernie supporters, yes. Hillary, yes. she had something to do with this yes. here. Right. Some in the GOP and the establishment right. because you had Casey Cruz uh, and Rubio, Rubio come out yes. and blame Donald Trump That's for this. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 yeah, They all had something to do with it. Mm -hmm. And the, the respect level is so low, especially among these young people. Mm -hmm. Martin Luther King had peaceful protest. He had peaceful protest. Not all of this full threat that you thought. This ain't no right. protest that's going on right now. This is this disruptive. Not, this being disruptive and inciting, and violence. inciting violence. And I listen to uh, uh, mainstream media. Uh, you know, they want to talk about Donald Trump is the reason for this and the reason for that. But guess what? If you wouldn't have bought your ass to a gunfight, then you wouldn't have gotten probably knocked out. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, How are you going to take and you go come to somebody else's event uh -huh. and think you're going to get up and be yeah. rude? And you got to understand. If you come for the bull, be, expect to get the horns, baby. That's right, baby. Expect to get the horns. Expect to get the horns, you know? Listen, and see, in Chicago, y'all know it was protesters yes, out there. Yes. A lot of those protesters was Bernie Sanders supporters. Yes. He should have disavowed the group. You had people out there, prominent people out there. Yes. Fueling this and fueling yes. this. Yes. Well, y'all want to blame Donald Trump for Chicago. Right. Well, who, who's to blame for Ferguson? <laughs> who's to blame for Baltimore? Who? Who's to blame for all of that killing in Chicago? Who? So be cautious how you blame people, yes. you all. And his supporters, Donald Trump supporters, was already in line, ready to go mm -hmm. in. And then all of a sudden, all of these groups started mm -hmm. gathering. They came mm -hmm. there, and they didn't even have to be there, but they were paid. And Donald Trump supporters are peaceful. Yes. We all are. of us are very peaceful. Uh -huh. And I can see how that can get out of hand. Yes. We're there to hear our man speak. That's right. And, and then he and and he he paid for. And then you all want to act a fool. That'll make somebody want to get up and pop your yes. ass. That'll make that somebody want to get, get up, up and, and pop your pop ass. You. Yes, and pop knock you right, right on into up. tomorrow. Yes. So this is what I want to tell the supporters, mm -hmm. Donald Trump supporters. Okay. Listen, you Listen all. Listen up, supporters. They are so scrutinizing everything that we do. Yes. So what we have to do, we have to take and we have to make sure that we are calm. Yes. We don't get up in these protesters' face right. and let the police handle this. Because here's the deal, you all. These people are in pain. They're, if they got to come, come on, to, up, yeah, if they up. got to come to a Donald Trump rally, yes. that's if Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, yes. and, and all of these people have to come and disrupt a Donald Trump rally, yes. what that's showing is they don't see what their guy is talking about. That's right. And they want something better. Exactly. And they don't know how to act. They don't know they don't, how to calm themselves exactly. down. So what we have to do is be the example Therefore, for their yes. for their supporters yes. to win these people over. Diamond, I call it misguided anger. Misguided They're anger. They're so angry mm -hmm. about the current administration, what's going on in their own life, right. that they don't know how to channel it. Right, and, and then they come to the air for it, and they don't know how to. They don't right, know how to act. Right. right, and what we have to do with as they support us, you have to treat these people with love, and yes. let's win them over. Exactly, it's just like when we had a flood of of uh, uh, people, uh -huh. a, a flood of uh, uh, just negativity. People, uh, uh, yeah, a little yeah. negativity. Uh -huh. We didn't argue and get mad. No, we did. We educated these people, That's and right. you know what? I get yes. emails from some of them. I'm sorry. That's right. I, I, I rubbed. I, I thought of you of this, and yes. I'm so sorry. Yes. but I get exactly what you're talking about. Love and kindness have, have I drawn draw me. We got to we draw to these draw people in, in with, with love, love and, and kindness. kindness. Because Bernie Sanders is probably not going to be the nominee. It's right. probably going to be Hillary. And that's so, uh, so most of his supporters yes. are going to come to Donald Trump's side because people at the end of the day want jobs. They want, jobs. They want to feel secure that's right. and they want unity. That's right. They want that's unity. They so want. you got to understand that you right. are. Exactly. Please understand that. Please, Please understand that. Now, Diamond, mm -hmm. if one of, them, one of them people get up in my face, what am I supposed to do? Listen, if they get up in your face, I can't tell you to turn the other it's cheek. It's going to be hard for me to turn I can't tell you to turn the other cheek. I can't turn the other cheek. I can't turn the other cheek. We nobody going to turn the other cheek. Listen, if they get up in your face, I... You got to do what you got to do That's for right. you. That's they right. Get up in don't get face. up in my face. Don't get, don't up, get up, up in my face. face. And then, you know, you had some of Bernie Sanders supporters out there in Chicago trying to convert Donald Trump supporters. Bernie Sanders is what we call the new slave master. The new slave master. We are not, we don't want to feel the burn. No. We don't want to have nothing to we do with Bernie Sanders. Burned. We don't want to get burned That's by him. Right. He's a liar. Yes. He's not going to be able to give all of y'all no free education. No, he's not. And the fact that you can't use that to go to Yale in the, school, in the prestigious school, That's right. tell you what he want to do is control your he education. Wanna tell you what he wants That's to what he wants you to do. That's what and he then wants. he want to take and he want to tax 
the middle class and the rich. Yes. So what he's saying to you is that, you know what? what? You make a dollar too much, yes. I'm going to penalize you for it. So what he wants saying. you to do is have minimal, yes. just a bare crop. That's what we call the new slave master. That's right. And that's why you don't need to vote for him. Yes. Come on over to the Trump train. That's right. Y'all done got burned over there where you're at. That's right. You don't know, you, you tired of being burned. But see, on the yes. Trump train, yes. we don't argue we don't like argue that. Like we don't that. be acting crazy no, like we that. Don't. We in love and unity and that's unity right. over here. Yes. So y'all can come Come on, exactly. when you come on this train, right. you gonna act right. You gotta act right. Or somebody like Cowboy gonna get up and talk the hell out of you. <laughs> The hell out of you. And you know what else mm -hmm. on the Trump train? Mm -hmm. We're all colorblind. We all colorblind. We all see one color. That's right. That's, that's right. green. That's green, that's baby. All we see People want to make money. Right. That's and guess what? what? We're part of one race. One race. And that's the human race. Keep that in mind. And we're all Americans on that, okay? That's right. So we got to retrain these people the way yes. they think about it. Yes. It's not, it's like Donald Trump said, it's not a bad thing with these protests. Right. You know, these protesters are really in pain. Exactly. Because so we don't but, go to... We don't go to those other we people around. But that's what happens when you get burned by the bird. That's right. It's painful. Uh huh. Uh huh. You start screaming and yelling. And, and don't these people have been burned by the bird. They have been burned by the bird. And you know how a bird feels. Yes. Some yes. people put butter on the bird. Uh -huh. Some people put ice on the bird. Yeah. What else they put on the bird? A little grease. Some people put band aids on the bird. A little band aids. I know. Some people, talk, some people try to talk the fire out of the they bird. They try to fight the fire out of the bird. Try to fight the fire out of the bird. Listen, when you burning, baby, yes. you try to get away and then yes. you end up in Donald Trump. Yes. You got to understand, calm your ass down. Calm your ass down. You know your ass is burning. You know you burning. You know you can't even get yourself together because you're burning all you're over. You're burning all over. So calm Yo, down. Sarah. Calm down. Calm so down. So that you can hear something yeah. that will help you. Exactly. I like he it. Got, he, you know what? What, girl? Donald Trump got what you need he got to what calm you need the burn. To calm that burn, girl. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and Paul Hillary. Pa Listen, let me tell y'all something. Yes. We've been getting all of these messages. A lot of people are ditching and switching their parties yes. from independent and Democrats to Republican so that they can vote for Donald Trump in the primary. That's right. What's happening, you all, is people are getting scared on the left. Yes. And, and listen, those protesters out in Chicago. A lot of those people were paid protesters. They were paid, they were paid I believe, fourteen to fifteen dollars an hour. Yes. Because when you went up to some of them, they didn't even know why they, they were out there. Why they was out they, there. But they got their little paycheck. Uh -huh. <laughs> they got they got fourteen to fifteen dollars uh -huh. to stand out there and act crazy. That's right. Okay. Yeah, so you so. got to understand all the tricks is coming up because uh -huh. people are afraid. And I think our people are scared that because Donald Trump is the front runner and is the nom going to be the nominee, uh -huh. then they're scared that, you know, he's going to beat Hillary. They don't, they, don't want, they don't want him because they know he's going to beat Hillary. she already trying to stack the deck on him. Yeah. She's trying to stack the deck on him for yeah. a reason because uh -huh. she knows she can't beat him. That's right. Why ain't she trying to stack the deck on Rubio? That's right. Because she knows she can beat him. That's right. Why ain't she trying to stack the deck on Casey? Because oh, she, she knows she can beat him. him. Why ain't she trying to take, uh, stack the deck on Cruz? Because she knows she can beat him. She can't beat Donald Trump. That's why she already stacking the deck. Well, she better stack it. Because people are coming off that Democratic plantation, baby. They coming off that Democratic plantation, and they are voting for Donald J. Trump. They don't know how to handle it, so they don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to handle it, They don't know how to handle it. But what they need to do is embrace it. Embrace it. Embrace it. Listen, Clintons, you all do not get to play musical chairs with the presidency. You don't get to do you don't get to do that. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. No, you, you don't, don't get to prep music with, chairs with, with the uh, pres That's presidency. Right. And you know what? Today, yeah. we was on the H. Ellen N. show with Pete Dominique. Yeah. And they asked a question about the protesters, and we gave our answer. That's right. And Pete wanted to come back and say our answer was not a good answer mm -hmm. because that means we didn't believe in Martin Luther King hmm. and, and all of these other uh, great pe people, people that, that, protest. that protest back uh -huh. in the day. Uh -huh. But let me tell you something. Tell. We are for Mar Dr. Martin Luther King. That's we right. believe in everything that he stood for. Uh -huh. And here's the damn deal. Here's the deal. He believe in peaceful protest. That's right. Not people out in the streets acting a fool. That's Pete, right. Dominique, or whatever your name that is. Whatever. That's what he believed in. That's right. So go back and do your research. Do your research. Investigate. Okay? okay. He wasn't out there in the streets acting like a fool God. and people are tired of that That's right. people are tired of that so don't imply that we're not for Martin Luther King exactly. we are for Martin Luther King yeah. we shall overcome we done yeah. already overcome okay. now it's time for people to start right. coming up That's and stop right. acting like damn fools in the street That's right. because what were you out there protesting right. protesting what right. Donald Trump has a right to his freedom of exactly. speech just like you do That's right. you don't have no business out there That's and you. Right. And let me tell you how you ain't even serious about it because yeah, you were right. paid to do it That's right. Because see, the protesters back in the day with Martin Luther King, yes. they weren't paid to do that. That's right. 
So don't get it twisted. That's right. Pink Dominique mm -hmm. sounded like Domino's. Mm -hmm. I used to like Domino's pizza, mm -hmm. but I it's not Domino's pizza. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's the workers that work in Domino's. Well, I don't know, baby, hell, I don't know what the hell. Got you got all that. Pizza. You got all that hair on your arm. Yeah. Now are you washing your arms up to your yeah, elbow? For when you have that dough, I don't want a piece of hair on my right. dough. Okay, I, we got you. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so who goes in that ball of stupid? Well, diamond, 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 diamond. Mm -hmm. Hey, girl, it's been a long week this week. Mm -hmm. And so this week, we got three people that's going into the ball of stupid. Mm -hmm. We have Ted. Oh, Ruth. Puppet Ted's lying, yeah. Puppet Ted. We have Marco Rubio. Oh, Marco Polo. Ready, Marco Rubio, little Marco. And new to the ball of stupid, we have John Casey. Oh, John Casey. They're going to go into the ball of stupid. You know, let me tell you why they stupid. Why they stupid. Because you all turned on Donald Trump. You're supposed to be conservatives like him. That's right. And you turned on Donald Trump. And gonna make him try to make him responsible for, for those protesters. Yes. You all were for all what those people were doing That's in the right. streets. Yes. You all was for that. That's right. And for that, yes. you go in the bowl of stupid. For, bowl of for that, stupid. we know that you are part of the problem oh, no. and not the solution. That's and right. for that, yes. we are voting for Donald okay. J. Trump. Get that ball out of here. Get them all out of here. Get yes. the stooges out of here. Yes. They're the three stooges. The three stooges. Sorry, <laughs> got them all out of here. Yes. Hey, y'all, yes. okay, listen. So it's been a really good show today. Uh -huh. Listen, don't forget to go get the Mother's Day package at yes. diamondandsilk.com. Uh -huh. You know, Mother's Day is going to be coming up in May. Yes. We have a nice package there for them. Yes. And go ahead and order it early order it so early. that you will have time to have get your gift. Mm -hmm. Make sure you wrap it for your mo for Mother's Day. That's right. Also, we have the uh, Don't Get It Twisted shirts where you can get 25% off right. if you order just the actual just shirt, shirt. Just the shirt. Okay? okay? And you can get all of that at the Diamond and Silk store. Dot com. Right. Now don't forget to like us on Facebook, yes. follow us on Twitter, mm -hmm. hit us up on Instagram, yes. hit us up on Periscope. Yeah. Girl, we are on a lot of stuff. We're everywhere. <laughs> it's all the network. Y'all get with the program. Keep emailing us to let us know who should go into that bowl of stupid That's diamond right. and silk dot com. Yes. Y'all can find everything about diamond and silk. Just put diamond and silk, diamond and silk, everything hey. to come up. What? They can Google us. Google us, baby. Yes. Diamond and silk. Com. Oh my God, it's been a long show, you yeah. all. Listen, I guess we'll report back at the end of this week. Don't forget, get out, vote. Go vote, vote go vote, vote, go vote. And make sure you vote for Donald J. Trump, you all. Yeah. He's the only one that can lead this country back to Grammy. Yeah, remember, vote for Donald Trump. It's a victory over the establishment. establishment.